Hey guys and welcome back. Today we got something fun. A noob builder, an intermediate builder, and a pro builder facing off in a Christmas challenge where everyone tries to build a Christmas themed map and we see who wins. The last time I did this type of a video, the noob was actually the best one. So they needed to change their rank in the discord. Anyways, let's hop right into it with the noob map. All right, guys, now real quick before we check out this map right here, I'm going to turn on my desktop audio. If any of you could tell me what this beep is that keeps happening, I, I don't know how to turn it off, and it's so annoying. Right there, guys. I, I, I don't know if you heard it or not, but man, that thing is so annoying, and it happens so many times. Anyways, right here is the noob map, and it actually doesn't look too, too bad. The terrain, uh, it's it's okay doesn't overly make the most sense, but the map overall looks pretty good. Now, I do want to say, uh, what's free models and what's not? I'm pretty sure this is probably a free model. Um, let, let me just look real quick. Yep, it's a free model. So, I'm going to assume that this noob map is all free models except for the terrain. That's just what I'm going to assume. However, them placing the free models how they did looks pretty decent. I'm not gonna lie, the map's not horrible. Let's go ahead and spawn into it. All right, looks pretty good, I gotta say. You can walk around real nice. How deep's the water? It <laughs> it's not deep, okay. Now, the noob, they said there is a secret message somewhere in the map. Good luck. Now, I'm not gonna spend too, too long looking for this message. It is a small map nonetheless, and I could pro- it's probably right over here, isn't it? Yep. Rope builder rules with a Z. Hey, I'll take it, man. But guys, this is the noob map. Uh, there's no rank changes needed for this man. Definitely still on the noob level, but kind of nice how he set it all up. Let's hop into the intermediate map. Wow. First thing hopping into this, I think they nailed the lighting. It definitely gives off that like, just f like almost magical Christmas vibe, man. They also did supply images that they made all of the assets in here as well. So good job to that. Intermediate, um, yo, this is actually pretty good. I would love to see it a little bit bigger. Uh, let's spawn in and just check it out. I do really like the lighting in this map. They have sound effects. Y'all can't hear them, but you know, there's, there's like wind noises and stuff. All right, let's look around. We got some presents. We got some snowmen, some logs. Uh, wait, hold on. I don't think this is supposed to be on fire. <laughs> what is, oh, is this like a blacksmithing area? Sort of. Kind of? I don't know. Looks good nonetheless. We have a little a fire pit over here. I really do like how this isn't the classic fire pit where you just put like a log in every direction and it's like a perfect circle. I like how this is more of a mess, which doesn't work all the time, but in this case, I really like it. I love the attention to detail, the little steam coming off of the hot chocolate. You possibly, I feel like I'd have to see a bigger scene, but you possibly could be moved up to pro. I'm not even gonna lie. There, we gotta check out the pro map still. So let's hop into it. All right, first reaction to the pro map when it loads in. Oh my gosh, this is, this is a lot. Hold on, hold on, okay. Whoa, hold on. Okay, so it looks like over here was their first attempt and then over here, bro. So, First things first, the letters are awesome. Is this a billboard? Like a, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is exactly what I thought it was. What is this? What is this? This is the light? Why is the box so big? Okay, so we got some lighting. I do really like this one. I will say, odds are it was probably brush tooled. Okay, like odds are it was brush tooled. And I don't know if they made the candy canes and the lollipops and the presents and the trees. So I'm gonna go ask them real quick. I know they made this because they sent screenshots of making it and it looks pretty dang good, I gotta be honest. The overall feel of this one is just pretty cool. I think the intermediate map for me personally is the winner though. Like this looks nice and I like how they have lights in like random places, but with this map, if they made the trees, the candy canes, and the lollipops, and the all the presents, and all that stuff. If they made all of this, I give them some props. If they didn't, they just slapped some free models into brush tool, and well, there we go. Let's hop around and walk around in it, and I'm gonna go ask them if they made the models. Tried to play as a map, then I spawned up here. 
Uh, let's just jump off if we can't. Oh my gosh, what am I on? Oh no. Now guys, I am waiting for Hawk to respond, but uh, oh, I'm on the snow brick probably. Yep, made it. <laughs> I am waiting for him to respond to see if he used free models or not. I don't overly care, but it will be interesting. Oh my God. So you can't jump and you can't, oh, bro, how am I supposed to walk around? <laughs> All right, guys, Hawk just got back to me and said the only thing he did was used a free model sky, so big props to him. This map looks absolutely great. I would say you need to, first off, all these, all these boxes, man, like, like with the lights, the lights are a good idea. Let me give you a quick tip. Add an attachment in a part and, and you'll be okay. All right. It, it helps a lot. Also, you need to turn can collide off. Because, yeah, players can't walk around the map. I think the intermediate wins if this was a competition. Pro definitely comes in second, and Noob, well, he's got some stuff to learn. Anyways, I think that is going to wrap it up for today. If you did enjoy and you want to see more content like this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.